Um, so this morning, I'd like to welcome our first speaker. So it's Aaron Morris, who's going to be talking about Wikipedia in education, which is something that we're really interested in finding out what you're doing. Okay. Thank you. Okay, so before I begin, um, can I just thank Mark and the team uh, for the opportunity to speak at this year's Celtic Knots Conference? Um, so hopefully you will be able to take something away from the session. Okay, so to those of you who don't know about Wikimon um, and the project's role in the wonderful world of Wikipedia, um, I'll give you a bit of background info. So, Menteriaeth Mon, um, or the Anglesey Welsh Language Initiative in English, uh, is responsible for the project, and our aim is to ensure that Anglesey remains a stronghold for the Welsh language. So, we provide opportunities uh, and experiences that encourages all of the island's residents to use the Welsh language with confidence and pride in their communities, and by doing so, um, enabling them to develop the personal and social skills and ensure equal opportunities to, to use the language. So the Wikimon project um, aims to enrich and popularise content of the Welsh Wikipedia uh, in order to raise the status of the Welsh language nationally and internationally uh, through a historical, scientific and linguistic project, which will uh, focus specifically on Anglesey and its culture. So we're funded by the Welsh Government, uh, Horizon Nuclear Power and Wikimedia UK. Um, so last year I gave um, a presentation on Wikimon's work in the secondary schools on the island and how the project has been working within the do uh, digital competence framework and the Welsh Baccalaureate. Um, I gave an update on how the project had developed and um, showed the video highlighting different aspects of Wikimon's work as part of the Welsh BAC. Um, so I'd like to give you a brief update on what's been happening over the past year concerning the secondary school work. So the work we do in the secondary schools um, has been taster sessions for year 7 to 9 pupils, digital framework modules for year 9 to 13, um, and I'll come back to that later, and the Welsh, Bac, uh, the Welsh Baccalaureate for year 12 pupils, um, so the Welsh BAC for short. So the Welsh Baccalaureate... Um, is delivered in schools across uh, Wales and it gives broader experiences than traditional learning programmes, uh, developing transferable skills uh, useful for education and employment. Uh, the Welsh Bank is offered at advanced national and foundational level uh, and is studied alongside a range of academic and vocational uh, qualifications. So the primary aim is to enable learners to develop and demonstrate an understanding of and proficiency in um, essential and employability skills. So, um, for, uh, for example, communication, numeracy, digital literacy, planning and organisation, creativity and innovation, uh, critical, uh, critical thinking and problem solving. Um, so in November 2017, uh, Mentor staff and Robin Owine, um, Wales Wikimedia Manager, wrote a brief to be included in the Community Challenge module. Um, and this is the second year of working with schools across Anglesey and Gwynedd. Um, the Community Challenge is made up of 30 hours where the students teach the skills that have been transferred from my workshops into the community. Um, so namely how to feed information onto the Welsh Wikipedia. Uh, these sessions were successful and the pupils gained experiences from visiting um, an old railway line writing articles about it, arranging an open evening in the local library for people to bring in their local stories. Um, it included writing articles about the history of the old copper mine, mining industry in Amloch, North Wales, and targeting football clubs in the community, to name just a few. Um, we even went to uh, the mainland to broaden Wikimon's scope and worked with Scott Trevan and the Skull Sir Hugh Owen in Bangor and Carnarvon. So this year... Um, I'd like to talk about work in the primary schools. Um, so the idea for starting um, a wiki project for children came from last year's Celtic Knots conference um, in Aberystwyth, where one of the Wikipedians from the Basque Country uh, gave a presentation where, uh, about the work with Wikipedia. 
So my Welsh counterpart and I thought that this was a great way of, of involving young children and expanding the wiki scope. So the first step was to contact all 43 pupils on the, um, sorry, primary schools um, on the island and see what so sort of response we'd get. So, of course, this is not going to be an easy feat. Um, everyone knows that there is a stigma in schools about we, um, using Wikipedia in the classroom. Uh, teachers who did contact me back initially wanted a one-to-one -one chat about um, the details of the project. Uh, this, was, uh, this was a great way of outlining the project before uh, giving the children a presentation. Um, it's always a good uh, idea to get the teachers on board um, as they, are the ones, as they are the ones who have the most difficulty adapting to uh, Wikipedia. And to tell you the truth, all the discussions uh, were positive. Um, but what convinced them was one of the two elements um, that made up the project, uh, the digital competence framework. And that was the model that the teachers saw as having the most potential. Um, and so I went on to create two wiki sessions that would interest the children. Uh, the first session consisted of a simple uh, introduction to the world of Wikipedia, but before I went on to Wiki, uh, I emphasised and asked them to remember three things. So those three things uh, started with the letter G in Welsh, so Gwevan, Gwydoniadur and Golygi, so website, encyclopedia and edit. So these three things, um, these three things are vital if they want to know about the uses of Wikipedia. Um, I then highlighted all of the important aspects of Wikipedia, um, open and shared websites, editing, uh, copyright, sources. Uh, there would be a question and answer session and the opportunity to write a small sentence on their school's wiki page. So the session were kept light uh, and, and humorous so that the children could follow it easily. Um, but to me, the second session was always the most exciting and captivating. So usually there's a two week gap between the first and second session. Um, and in that period, the children either research their own school or their village. So they would use everything they'd learned from the first session. Um, so how to research, use sources correctly, coding, taking pictures, um, and then, um, sorry, pictures and uploading them onto Wikimedia Commons and then onto their own article. So there are two specific elements um, involved in the primary school project. So the first one is the digital competence framework, so uh, Framwaith Cymhwysedd Digito, and then the Charteriaith Gymraeg to the Welsh Language Charter. Um, so digital competence is one of three cross-curricular -cur responsibilities alongside literacy and numeracy. Um, it focuses on developing digital skills which can be applied to a wide range of subjects and scenarios. The framework, which has been developed by practitioners from pioneer schools, supported by external experts, has four strands of uh, equal importance, each with a number of elements. So we've got citizenship, uh, interacting and collaborating, producing uh, data, and um, right, let's see if my Welsh, language, uh, Welsh accent can uh, tackle this. Computer, computational thinking, did I get that right? Computational. computational thinking, there we go, thank you. Um, so, um, as I said before, this was one of the key elements uh, or key reasons that teachers were willing to entertain the idea of us visiting the schools. Um, so the key factors here would obviously be uh, digital rights, uh, licensing and ownership, um, collaboration, planning, sourcing and searching, um, and data and information literacy. And by taking part in this project, they would have the necess necessary skills before they even reach secondary school. Um, so for digital rights, the children would familiar, familiarize themselves with Creative Commons and the process of placing pictures on the internet. Uh, collaboration, students work with other pupils to develop high quality encyclopedia articles. Um, planning, sourcing and searching, of course, plays a vital role in these sessions. Um, so in the gap between the sessions, I emphasized that quality of work had to be high for the children's work to be included on Wikipedia. And that's why the teachers would check the work before the second session so that the children could concentrate on feeding the information onto Wiki instead of worrying about grammar. So the Charter Iaith um, Gymraeg, or the Welsh Language Charter, um, is a project to encourage the use of Welsh socially and primary in Wales. So as part of the charter, each individual school 
completes a baseline exercise to determine current language use before developing an action plan to work towards a bronze, silver or gold award. It encourages participation from every member of the school community, pupils, parents, school governors and the wider community. So communication is at the heart of modern life. Growing up bilingual means that children will be developing skills for life. So I'm going to show you a video that explains a bit more about these two elements. Wikipedia and Webban um a Pavel Gratty Pedia Early Battle of Bobbit and Shower of Better Gohano. What's a king gratty thing Joe Blinks and Dad Venachi for such a Wikipedia and Webban um a Pavel Gratty Pedia Early Battle of Bobbit and Shower of Better Gohano. What's a king gratty thing Joe Blinks and Dad Venachi for such a round? Made a king gratty thing to a better arrach now. So <laughs> Roberts would be governing me to the head of faith and then stamp the goal at a school and the pension of a room. On Christmas of Natalie, the Inclusia and the Good Bodies, I go on the whole and dash and I open up and hope that you mean being me shame. With the new wedding board in Tennessee, I had a job with the wedding board in China and Wikipedia, you can't have a world in Pentra and Bachelor. The lady does get about. Gohan of Atho, Atho, Gomana, Sutani Mendu Kurudio, and the King Kahwe, man, even back in Ahmad, man, Ace and Hal, and the King Kubo City Nita. Ma, then the dog couldn't set the kit on in a pesta, trash with the government, I was going on. The Macotra to him, one more found up as the Ocho, the kit on head of the Ocho Pesan, and the people of the U. After that, Gohan of Albina. Man, Taro, Saul, and the Lahal, who got a kid with your review is a big time away. I did not get up at him yet. Can you go back far away? I how we are on the last one. Not even when I give you in the seven with Rala, a squinny, a kid, and the people of Bethino, six on the wish yard, and my cock in the hand, no link. I'm going to do the noise with it. Hill then all checked out any with people who had checked for their bond with me. A match at either bond and the skull with the demi or technology. I'm a whole lot of the plants and can they turn it in and can they send it off the knowledge and the good night? Go shame a project in Timor against Sammy and Small with the more that has had also been by Christmas and Kinnocky, Poppy, and Tim, but you've already seen that in Chatsa. Then he and Dobby, your plants and get a threat in the good night. I can sit here at my cover threat in and look young, young, and he's going to go in that knee and took a little bit of it. I've been here, Mr. Stone, for seeing how he can see me on the chat with Kema Gobby, plants of the Nervia Gamrag, Sashan and the Gamine. Meshi, Ostamina, for the plants, in that technology, took a little Gamrag, and he and he chat back at the map, and put them in high, and put them in the Gamrag, put them in the back, and he had a little. Bonu and Balkhina and Hinania Gamai, Hannah, Chitapais, and Katsilias, and the school smear the project and and the the of me. The minute of mine, he will hear big that doesn't ask him of a cinema, and to show the Dilla Mikina and the basket for his young young. My plans will be called We Live With Hand, and we have, and I've got a great part of my hand over. Om att hanna och att få hanna och 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 få
Welsh superstars. Uh, so yeah, uh, this is a video we um, we created for the Wikipedia and Education Conference, um, the Basque Country this April. Um, so it shows a skull than better goch in rural Anglesey, um, and their little journey from knowing nothing about what a wiki is to contributing to the most popular website in the world. So, um, Gwen and Elise Jones um, mentions the Welsh 2050 strategy in this video. Um, so, the ambition of the Welsh Government is to show the number of people who are able to enjoy speaking and using Welsh um, and see the figures reach a million by 2050. It's a challenging ambition, but a challenge we believe is worthwhile and necessary. Education is central to the vision, um, but so is ensuring that we have a plenty of, of uh, sorry, plenty of community provisions and engagement to support the education system. Uh, that is why we at Mentor Eighth Morn create a variety of programmes for children, young people, parents, community groups and businesses. Um, and uh, making uh, Wiki Morn the perfect project for one of their project officers, being myself. Um, so this little project is ideal for that. Um, so without a doubt, digital technologies is central to the vision um, so helping workplaces uh, become bilingual and supporting social use. More schools have shown an interest in the project because of the video, so that's a good sign. Um, I showed this slide in last year's Celtic and Arts Conference. Um, the first one, the global audience. Uh, students appreciate that their work could be viewed by thousands of people. Um, th this is really, really important um, for the teachers to know, really. Uh, so the usefulness of the assignments, students like that, uh, like that their work serves a purpose. It isn't just graded or forgotten, so we mentioned this yesterday. Uh, reading, students get uh, better at reading by reading more, and by working on Wikipedia, they read a lot. Writing, students practice writing in an expository, encyclopedic summary style. Um, collaboration, and this is really important, students work with other people to develop high-quality encyclopedia articles. So by particip participating in this project, the kids know the ins and outs of Wikipedia before they get to secondary school and have an advantage even on their teachers. It's important that they understand that they need to note and acknowledge where they get, the, uh, get their information from. They know that Wikipedia is only a starting point. They know how to get to grips with simple coding and feel that they've contributed to their local area. Children take delight in the work and it's something to show their families as well. So teachers are more aware of the wiki world and have a better understanding of all things wiki. So as I said in the beginning, um, I hope you'll be able to take something away from this presentation today. And if you have any questions or would like to have a chat with me about the project, I'll be more than happy to answer any questions. Uh, thank you for listening. Thank you, Aaron. Um, I've got one question. Yeah. Have you... Um, Looking at that, that looks like a great way of drawing people in. Have mm. you uh, tried that model with adults? Um, no, not yet. No, not yet. No, yeah. no. Because we do, um, we've got a lot of investment in super fast broadband here, mm. and to go with that, there's uh, social programs for people who don't use the internet. And um, just looking at that, it looks like a, quite a nice model of drawing people into yeah. something useful. Yeah, it is. So, yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. Okay. Uh, I've got just two questions. Sure, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, of course. Yeah. <clears throat> First one, Aaron, is um, I'm terribly impressed by the work that you've done. And um, I have to say, I, I think you've got, in the paper corner, a slight advantage mm. in that you've actually got communities that are speaking the language, mm. you've got schools that are delivering it in the language. And I just wondered if you had any thoughts on what your experience is, if you could give any ideas to the folks in Cornwall who are starting from a, a smaller base. And are going to have to make the you know the first inroads into this, and aren't going to be having people working in Cornish as their native language. Mm. Are there any lessons you could you could offer them, or any insights you could offer them into how they can help that to happen within their own schools and their communities? 
Um, I think communication is the key here um, to have a chat with, you know, the teachers and people mm. who have an interest in this kind of thing, you know, um, and just get into the stigma, um, especially with the schools. Um, because when I was going around two years ago, um, the kids were saying things like, um, uh, Miss Sir told us not to use Wikipedia. Um, they, don't, they don't trust it. Um, so I had to get in there first and try to, you know, um, get all the facts across and um, try to inform them really of the rules and uh, what they can put on Wikipedia and what they can't put on Wikipedia. Um, so that's the, the first step, I think. Yes, the communication. Yes. But, but yes. actually, for me, the other thing watching that is that uh, because we cannot teach Cornish as part of the, the curriculum, mm. because it's an English curriculum, um, so we have to find ways to introduce Cornish as part of other subjects. So so in primary schools we can. Uh, some schools have allowed us to go in to teach it as one of their modern languages, which is great. And that's the way we want to introduce it. But um, but others, I think there's a, this opens up another way in to yeah. sort of say it's actually... You know something else to hang your dog Absolutely. So, that's probably yeah. going to be one of the, yeah. one of the things that's really going to be helpful. Yeah, yeah. If you look to the, the methods and the theory of your parents, you know, mm. Mm. I, I think there's, there's space there to say, yeah. well, OK, we'll sell the school's Wikipedia mm. and hang the Cornish on top of it. Absolutely, yeah. Um, no, no, no. It, it, that's that's great because I think that actually, it, I think there's an appetite from schools, but they, you know, they're all squeezed for time in terms of the curriculum. So if we can do something like this, it just feels like a real life project. And I think there's a lot, a lot of the schools here really do want to find ways to adapt the curriculum to be locally relevant. So, so it, at all, in all sorts of ways, I can see that working quite well here. If we could find a couple of schools to start that off and get some good examples up and running and. But it's so. This is where the value of this is. It's so useful seeing a model like that. I can see exactly how that could work here. So. Well, the videos, the videos help as well. Yeah. Um, trying yeah. to get the teachers and having a chat about Wikipedia on camera. <coughs> um, does yes. help. Yeah. I've got a second question. Mm -hmm. My experience in doing outreach into schools is that the younger the kids are, the more they're interested in the richer experience. In other words, they've grown up with video and audio and not just the written word. Mm -hmm. And I think there's a there's an opportunity, but I don't know how it would work in, in other languages mm -hmm. um, to actually uh, to, to concentrate on, on taking photographs, making videos themselves mm -hmm. um, and, and producing sound bites and so on. And I wonder if you would look at that aspect of things. And certainly the youngsters, um, the younger the ones they are, the less they want to write. And I know that's a nuisance because it's the written word that's going to be the, the world's yeah, medium. Yeah. But there's somehow you've got to try and fit your language mm. into this richer um, medium yeah, that I think yeah. the kids are going to be working in 10 years' time. Yeah. You know, they, 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 half of it's not mm. going to be written words, it's going to be something else on top of it. Yeah, so I think that's where, where the, the Welsh language charter comes in, really, um, trying to weave, you know. Especially we came on to the literacy and um, the digital aspect of it, um, and and the framework as well, because they try to encourage people to write more. Um, so I, mean, I don't know if if England, Scotland, and Ireland has the same kind of framework, but um, we find it very useful in the Welsh language. Yeah. yeah. Okay, okay. Thank you, Aaron. Yeah. Yes. Brilliant.